Today we are grooming Koa, the one and a half year old Pomeranian. I've been informed that Koa isn't the best for grooming, so we'll see what we can do today. Okay, Mr. Koa. Okay, 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 breathe. Breathe. Okay, you're okay. So first I'm gonna start him in de-shedding. Actually, I think I'm only going to bathe him in de-shedding yeah. today. Nasty critter I use when a dog is dirty or smells, but he's really clean. He just seems like he's blowing some of his undercoat a little bit. Good boy, good boy, good boy. Koa is a Merle Pomeranian, but I really don't know what this color is. It's not blue Merle, it's not red Merle. So I've never really seen a Merle in this color, to be honest. Good boy, come here. You okay, buddy. So Pomeranian coats, I find the easiest way to work on them is to bathe them and blow them out first before brushing. Sometimes Pomeranians really don't like brushing and that's because if they have a dense undercoat, there can be a lot of pulling happening. So I find if you bathe them, condition them and blow them out with the high velocity dryer, then the brushing is a lot more gentle because there's less tangles in the coat. Buddy, buddy. Relax, relax, you're okay. Okay, buddy, just putting some tearless on the face. It's okay, mister, it's okay, Mr. Koa, you're okay. Pomeranians don't actually come in Merle. This is not the breed standard for Canada. I believe that the AKC does recognize them. And basically it just means that the color Merle was introduced into the bloodline probably by a Sheltie or um, any other breed that has Merle. But I'm gonna say probably Sheltie because they look the most like the Pomeranian. And what happens is just over many years, they continue to breed the Merle Palm to another Palm, and then those puppies get bred to a Palm, and then those puppies get bred to a Palm. And so the genetic makeup that would show Sheltie would be very, very, very small. And that's how they introduce the color into the bloodline. Good boy. You're very tiny. You're a tiny little thing. My experience with Pomeranians have always been a good one, but occasionally we do get the spicy one because they have really big personalities for their little size. Okay, now we're gonna use some de-shedding conditioner. Boy. Good boy, buddy. Don't be a suck. I'm really excited, everyone, because we are, whoa, okay. Stay down, wait, sit. I'm really excited, everyone, because we are just a few days away from my course launching. For those of you who don't know, I am starting a pet grooming course that is focused on teaching the pet owner how to groom their dog at home. It's gonna be like pet grooming for dummies because obviously everyone who would be learning that doesn't have any experience. The first course coming out is just teaching you how to do the basic haircut 
on a dog. So it's a teddy bear haircut that can be done on dogs like poodles and doodles. It's basically the most asked for haircut that I've ever gotten when working in the grooming industry from pet owners. So I feel like it's a very common haircut that people want. It's short, but not completely shaved, and it still makes your dog look cute. Okay, I'm gonna spray him down in Ice on Ice, which is just a deep conditioning treatment, make him soft, make him dry a little bit quicker, and help to loosen up that undercoat. And of course, a happy hoodie because he is a very anxious little man and a pink one at that. Relax, buddy, relax, relax. Okay, sit, sit, good boy, wait. Okay, and I'm gonna dry him with the high velocity dryer, but without the nozzle on the dryer. Okay, so he does not, nope, nope, day. He doesn't like the blow dryer on his face, but he's still wet here. So I'm gonna brush this out a little bit to loosen up the fur. And then I am going to go over him with the small handheld dryer. And hopefully that will calm him down a little bit. Cause you're still pretty wet back here, buddy. Before I brush him, I am going to clip his nails and do his paws. Normally I brush first. Today I feel like doing things out of order and I don't really know why. Calm, calm your little crazy horses. Yes, I can tell that your nails are very, very short. No, no. Stay. Stay, stay. It's okay. No, 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 no. You got so much fluff in the way, it's hard to see anything. Good boy. You know, in the middle of the night last night, 
I had to let Gidget out and she had diarrhea because Gidget likes to eat everything in my yard and plenty of those things are not edible. And then I had to bring her in here in the middle of the night and shave her butt because she had poop all over it. And that was an eventful evening for me. You and your palms, you're so cute, but the poop always sticks to your damn butt. Hey, don't be dramatic. Stay. Okay, and then we have the only two brushing tools that should ever be used on your palm. A slicker brush, a good quality one. I'm using the Coral Slicker Brush, obviously. It's my favorite one. And then after I brush him with the Coral Slicker Brush, I'm gonna brush him with the comb. Good boy. Good boy, Koa. He's all brushed out. So now we just need some finishing touches. So first I am going to tip his little ears. Stay. making them look a little bit more bear-like. And I'm going to tidy up this very fluffy buttocks of yours. For my course, I will be showing you guys all the tools that I'm using, letting you know what tools you need and showing you exactly where to get them. No, 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 you stay. And there will be courses for different breeds. Okay, so because he's a palm and palms are one of my favorites, he's going to get one of my favorite colognes today, which is Mango Tango, right? I did all of his trimming with thinning shears. I basically just took off some of the longer hairs and gave him a little bit whoop, of a butt lift. Look at his adorable little butt. Look at it. Oh my God, you're so cute. Okay, I'm gonna take him outside to play with Gidget. He is all finished. Okay, sit little spinny palm. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you again in a few days. Sit, sit, wait. You wanna go side? You wanna go side, go for a walk? You want a treat? Okay, wait, I'll give you a treat, one sec. Sit. A treat for you. Oh yeah, Pomeranians and their treats. There you go. As much as I wish I could say that Gidget and Koa made great friends, that would be a lie. Because Gidget doesn't know how to make friends. She only knows how to play dead. It starts with a submissive back foot lift and then full-on body paralysis. I wish I could explain my dog's weird behavior, but basically, all of my dogs have some strange, quirky personality traits. I'm starting to think that they need their own show. And let's not forget her pee-pee handstands. In other news, Koa was certainly not a difficult dog for grooming. In fact, he was perfectly well-behaved. He only took me a total of 50 minutes to complete. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed Koa and my strange little Gidget.